do you think about this matchup, uh, the two seed, at least in the CFP's eyes, against the one seed in Michigan? Well, I remember back, I, I think it was early October, and we were doing a few things, and I, I actually put Washington at number one. Um, and, and everyone was like, come on. And I said, look, they, I, they feel to me a little bit like 2019 LSU. You got a great quarterback, you got an elite receiver core, you got a really good offensive line, underrated defense, it's opportunistic. Um, and everyone kind of, well, the people that I work with rolled their eyes uh, on the podcast front. They were like, what are you talking about, dude? That's a reach. I'm like, it might be, but it feels like there are some parallels here. So um, I've really liked Washington all year. I feel like they have been really underrated, um, partly because of some of the close games in November. People kind of fell out of love with them because we have this weird fascination with style points. Like, who the heck cares? Like, last time I checked, if you win the game uh, against a quality opponent in weather in which you're forced to play a game that really is out of your comfort zone, a la Oregon State, when they hold the ball for 15 minutes in the third quarter, just thereabouts, like, that's pretty dang impressive to be resilient enough to go on the road and handle that atmosphere. And I think part of it probably stems from just having great respect for the league. I mean, Arizona, you saw early on, even against Mississippi State and their loss early, you watch that tape, it's like, all right, these guys got some dudes. Um, then Fafita goes in, they take off. So, I mean, Arizona State had, that, you know, that was a down game for them, but, man, they found a way defensively when their offense wasn't going. They got a little greedy in that game. But uh, I think Washington is really well equipped to win a game like this in a setting like this. Create big plays, put a ton of pressure on the opposing quarterback, um, both with their pass rush, which I know – statistically isn't dominant but every quarterback they play feels it and they're getting the ball out faster as a result and then for for Washington I think the big thing they got to stop the run I mean if Michigan allows this game to kind of sink and I think if this becomes a game in which possessions are limited that favors Michigan so I think Washington kind of needs to control the flow and if they get off to an early start I think the team that has the lead at halftime is in great shape uh, so I think the first half is really going to determine the outcome and what do you think when you look at the XO side of it because there are two dramatically different styles, head coach oh, yeah. personalities. Yeah. Where are you leaning into from a thesis walking into this game? Well, it's funny how few people watch Washington football because a lot of people watched him against Texas and I cannot believe how much noise I heard about this guy nine in purple. This guy, he can spin it. I tell you, he's accurate. It's like, like it wasn't that game. He's been accurate since he was in Bloomington. Like, five years ago and he's been on fire this entire year should have probably won the Heisman you could say I mean so it wasn't the Texas game that made me go I'll tell you what we got something going on here it's just that's who he is so if he has time that's the whole story to me is you know Michigan's so creative they do such a good job of disguising and showing their blitzes late how does Washington's offensive line protect and if Michael Penix has his feet set and Roma Dunze and Will Johnson will be a great matchup, but they have Hulk, you know, and, and McMillan's healthy, and we'll see what's up with Dylan Johnson. But there are just so many weapons, you can't take one guy away. So it's gonna come down to the line and the protection on that side. And then quickly on the other side, can Washington match up physically? Thule's a great player in the inside there at 91, but the rest of them, they have their moments, but this will be a big challenge because Michigan shows so much pre-snap, then they move, they force you to communicate. We saw Alabama bust. Can Washington simplify and be aggressive and get McCarthy into third and seven, third and eight, instead of on their terms, third and two, third and four. If it's like that, Michigan's gonna move the ball a lot.